Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and welcome to part 3 of how to make a Discord bot from scratch in the Node.js and Discord.js programming language. Last time we left off with this cool random command. Uh, if we just do random, if I can spell. <laughs> uh, and if we do random and some number, right? Um, then we get a number between 0 and that number. And that was just a proof of concept to show how to use your current Discord uh, and JavaScript knowledge to make a simple command. Now, a bunch of you, a bunch of people have asked me, how do you get info from Discord, such as the username of a user or the ID of a user or something like that? How do you get that information into a Discord bot? Uh, so today, today I'm going to be showing you how to do that with a very simple user info command. So all we're going to have to do is do user info like this. And then you're gonna enter, you're gonna ping somebody, let's just say ping me, right? And then I'm gonna get, it's gonna give me a bunch of info on myself. Alright, so let's get started with the tutorial. Uh, here's our code, current code. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the bottom and add, add a new, new, new content. Ooh, I can't talk today. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new if condition. And that if condition is going to be if, um, comma, command, equals, 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 and user info and then curly bracket and then in here we can start coding so how do we get the user info of a person so all we're gonna have to do is first of all we have to get the id of the person who you pinged right so so all you're gonna want to do is go ahead and first we want to get the info of the user so we have to get the info from the server, or sometimes the server, the server here is sometimes called a guild. So, uh, first of all, we need to get the guild of the server, right? So, we're gonna go ahead and, and the way to get that is simply const, and then we're just gonna do this. This is basically defining two, um, two variables at once, const guild and const channel. Right, that's declaring two variables called guild and channel, and we're just going to equal that to message, right? And that'll just get us the message, and each, both guild and channel will be equal to the message. Okay, and then let's get the user that just sent the message, right? So, or, sorry, not the user that sent the message, I meant the user that uh, the person had pinged. So, first of all, we're, uh, we're just going to do const user equals... And the way to get the first user that the person pings is basically uh, message dot mentions dot users dot first, and this is a command, so uh, this is a function, so make sure to put curly brackets around that. After that, sorry. And then if let's let's say this person forgot to uh, mention a user, then we'll just return the the user that sent the message so all we have to do is if that's invalid we're gonna go ahead and do um user message dot author that's how message dot author is basically getting the user that the author of the message that the command was sent from okay uh and then all we're gonna do is go ahead and do const member member is user is the account member is the person in the server that it's it's kind of hard to understand, it's fine. Um, and then we're just gonna go ahead and do guild.members.cache.get. This is how we get the user, the, I, the member from the user. And then we're just gonna do go ahead and do user.id. .id. ID. I can't spell today. Okay. Um, anyway. So const member equals guild.members.cache.get user.id. That's how we get the uh, member, uh, and the member again is different from the user, uh, so don't worry about that too much. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and return um, we're gonna return a few different parameters. So first of all, let's uh, let's just make a title. So we're just gonna do uh, message dot reply. Uh, here is some infor information about, and then all we're gonna do is do a plus, and then the uh, the uh, the 
user dot um oh let's actually do actually yeah let's do user dot username there we go uh and let's just save that and re refresh that so we just do node based dot again the real bot is online so if we just do user info there we go here's some information about how to do stuff with ethan that is me perfect okay uh as you can see i forgot to add a space there that's pretty simple to fix all we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here we're just gonna add a space right there that is my mistake okay um and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and gr we can grab their nickname on in this server so message dot channel dot send right uh we're just gonna send a user or we're just gonna send Okay, so here's a bit of new syntax if you're not um, aware of it. Uh, this key, that backtick is right above the tab key on a QWERTY keyboard. And that key is basically like a text box like this. I can type text in it, but if we want to have a variable in here, it's pretty simple. All we do is um, uh, dollar sign and two curly brackets. And there we go. It's formatted differently. And now we can just do user dot username in there. And that will actually get the text from user.username and put it into the string. And the reason this is so useful is because now we can add other text in front and we'll also consider that as well. So we don't actually have to do this plus. Um, okay. Anyway, so all we're going to do is right here is we're going to do nickname. Right? Nickname is going to be uh, the member.nickname. So instead of user.username, we're just going to go ahead and do uh, member.nickname. And if this nickname is invalid, right, if this nickname, uh, if the user hasn't changed their nickname, we're just going to go ahead and return, um, we're just going to go ahead and return none. There we go. And let's just add a capital there because it looks better. Okay, let's just try that out right now. Um, so if we do user info without a ping, there we go. So I don't have a nickname right now. So what if I just go ahead and add uh, a server profile nickname? Uh, all we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, let's say Ethan, right? Save. Okay, perfect. And now let's try user info again. Like that. There we go. So now it says nickname Ethan instead of nickname none. Perfect. Okay. So that's how we get the nickname of a person in the server. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and do another message.channel.send and we're going to go ahead and do another one of those backticks. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the time at which they join the server. Um, so uh, the, the easiest way to do that is just, um, so let's say joined server, right? Join server at, and we're just gonna do that fancy highlighting again, and then we're just gonna do go do a new. Uh, this might be new to you. Date, and this is just getting just just the date, uh, and then member dot joined time snap stamp, and if we just test that right now like this, uh, let's do user info like that. As you can see, I joined the server at this specific time. It was February, apparently. Okay, <laughs> it's it's uh, April now. Okay, wow. Um, anyway, uh, so that's how you get the time of a when when somebody joined. Uh, okay, and then all we have to do after that is let's say when did they join Discord, right? So all we have to do is copy this line paste it, joined Discord, I can't spell, join Discord at, uh, let's say member dot, instead of member, we're going to do user dot created timestamp. There we go. So when did I create my account? I'm not sure. Let's see. User info. All right, cool. I... Sure, yeah. Oh, it was during daylight saving time. Cool, okay. <laughs> um, so as you can see, 
this is, uh, this is really cool. Okay, uh, next thing we can do, and the, probably the final thing, probably the most important one, message dot channel dot send do the fancy te text tiling and then do user id now this one is very important because this is how you find people on discord now you can't search by username or nickname because those can both be changed but user id cannot be changed so if you're if you're looking for a specific person uh this is how you're supposed to do it user id uh, and user ID is not too difficult to find. All we have to do is do the fancy highlighting again, and then we're, this is just user ID. Pretty simple. But that will give me the ID of this person, and in this case, user ID. Oh, sorry. Use, user info. User ID is pretty simple to find. There we go. That is my user ID. Cool. So that is pretty cool. Now. As you can see, this text is not very nice. This text, it's just text, right? We can do something a bit cooler, and that cooler thing is called a embed. Now, an embed is quite complicated. It, there's a bunch of parameters to learn. Uh, I will give you, uh, I will give you more in-depth tutorials about embeds if you would want that. But for now, let's just do a very simple embed. So all we all we have to do is at the top here. We're just going to go ahead and, uh, uh, do we already have embeds? Okay, wait, hang on. Okay, so all we have to change up here is just add another constant at the very top at the required discord.js. All we have to do is do embed builder. There we go. Just like that. And we just add that to the top and now we can have embeds in our, in our, uh, in our messages. So how do you do an embed? Well, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, comment out this bit of code here and a comment is basically just like a message it, it won't run code um, so whatever is between this and that will not run code um, anyway so uh, how do you get an embed well it's not too difficult we're just gonna go ahead and do a const const um, and, and let's just name it uh, user info embed right user info embed and this this is just it's just going to be called something and we're just going to go ahead and do a new embed builder and uh two two uh, curly brackets and then we're just going to go ahead and do a dot and then what we can do is set idle uh and then all we have to do is add that little formatting as you can see we already have formatting right here so let's just copy that and paste it in there and then uh, let's just actually just go ahead and do a little colon. Uh, there we go. So just add a plus and then a colon and then dot uh, and then I'm just gonna make a new oh, not like that. Do a new line add fields and add fields is basically a list of different items. So all we can do all we have to do is make another line uh, like this dot uh, and then we're, this is just gonna be a bunch of um, like curly brackets. So, uh, for these curly brackets require two things in them, name, and they also require a value, like that. Um, so name is what's going to be called. Value is the value that it's going to hold. Okay, so name, the first one, uh, nickname. So we're just going to go ahead and do nickname, right? And then value, we're just going to go ahead and do. Um, already have the formatting user user dot username there we go uh, actually no sorry not not user dot username member member dot nickname there we go and then uh, we can comma do another field uh, I'm just gonna copy this one since we have one two three four we have four fields I'm just gonna go ahead and do four of them like that the second one is how when they join the server so joined server right uh let's just, just add colon there and then the third one is joined discord oh that's a semicolon and then the fourth one is user id like that okay and just we just have to fill in all of these so i'm just gonna copy and paste them 
like just like this like that save uh, actually and, and then we have to actually um, display this message so we're just gonna do message dot reply reply and then uh, embeds like this so we need to add two curly brackets like this embeds and then do a um, colon and then two square brackets. Yeah, I know, very a lot of brackets to remember. And then user info embed. So that's the name of our embed, right? User info embed. Save that, run node space dot, and there we go. So let's try it now, user info. Ooh, okay, if that happens, that means we have an error. What happened? Let's see. Ah, okay, so silly mistake by me. Um, these aren't technically strings, so all we have to do here is just dot to string, and this is a command, so make sure to add the two curly brackets, and then to string, nope, not to date string, to string, like this, and then finally this one as well, to string. Uh, so these dates aren't actually uh, text, so we just have to convert them to text before we send them. And uh, we can just test that if, if that works, right? User info. There we go. So now we have a bunch of info in a very nice box, right? So, okay, so that's our uh, tutorial for the day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. See, see, you, uh, see you at the next video, and see you next time. Bye!